Hi, this is a short video on how to create programs on the Evolve series of Kyocera multifunction device. This is a series of machines that with the model number that ends with 4, so a 2554, a 5054, 7054, uh, that series of machines. You'll see the control panel looks a little bit like this. So let's create a copy job. So let's go into copy. And let's say the, the, this job requires that it is a two-sided um, copy job. And uh, let's say this is also a 77% say reduction or something on the job. This is usually uh, printed from tray three if you have special paper or something in there. And let's set this to auto color because some of the, the jobs have color and some of them don't. And uh, let's do something like, uh, we'll set it up to say 25 copies each time you um, run the job. So notice that there is a favorite button here. You select that favorite button. You already set up the machine. Now you wanna add your, your program or your favorites. Go to the add button. Pick a location to uh, for the favorites and then name the favorite. Say this is a weekly job that you do at the end of the week. So we'll put this name as a weekly job. And I tell it to register the weekly job. And it'll also ask me if I want it to put this on the home screen. Sure makes it much easier so once I do that I say okay that saves it so if I close this I reset this go back to default I go to the home screen there's our weekly job so the next week you walk up you put your your sheets in a document feeder you say hit the weekly job and all your settings are there the, the number of, of sets you want the reduction enlargement of the uh, size you want, the paper tray you want it from, the color or uh, setting that you want it, and like double-sided and stuff like that. So now all you do is just uh, place the paper in document feeder and hit start. Now say you want to so also set up a setting, a, a program for the send function. You can go in here and say, okay, I have this job that, that is always you know by this user so select the user and some of the the specifics for the job is say I'll go here to quick setup well they want it uh, double sided and then also they have something called uh, skip blank page which is a, a function of the machine that is rarely used by people but say let's put in this job so that you can actually go in put in first double-sided and single-sided sheets and only the say the the images will show up and none of the other stuff say that's what you want to 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 set their destinations already set the uh, color uh, is uh, this is already set let's just go say let's go grayscale and let's set this up as a favorite so we'll go here to favorites go to add and then we go to this location and we'll call this the we'll call this the blank page skip page skip All right, so we'll register and it'll also ask you again if you want to save it on the home screen. Tell it to add on the home screen. And notice it doesn't show up on this screen, but you can hit the, oh, uh, let's set that as a, as, as a setting. I almost forgot that. So to register that. So, okay. If we go here, this is the home screen. If we select that, here's our skip blank page. I select that, and it is going to that user. It's on auto uh, gray scale and, and black and white, and also double sided. And then let's go here and make sure that we have 
skip blank page is turned on and and now you're ready to do your your job just put it in there and hit the start button and it'll scan it and it'll, only the the pages with the images will show up on your on your file anyways that is it for this video if you have any uh questions or comments leave them below thank you very much